the 48th Independence Nearest, we chat with some who say becoming an independent nation remains the push to discovering the Bahamian dream. Here's Lloyd Allen. On July 10th annually, Bahamians from near and far converge right here at Fort Charlotte, located at Clifford Park, for the annual independent celebration. Now, this has happened for the past 48 years. But prior to 1973, there were many hopes, dreams, and desires that may have never materialized had it not been for the birth of our nation. I distinctly remember fail. 61-year-old Zelrona Mackey says as a teen back in the 70s, she recalls many emotions from a long-standing colonial nation transitioning to independence. We were so afraid at one point because um, Abaco wanted to not be a part of our independence. That never materialized. And of course, Abaco, along with the 29 other inhabited islands of the Bahamas, moved toward becoming independent. The communities and everything were so excited, but like I said, a lot of us were in fear. Similar sentiments were shared by 76-year-old retired National Security Permanent Secretary Mark Wilson. Many people were convinced that independence was the way to go. And, uh, of course, the day finally came when the Union Jack was lowered for the last time as the official flag of the country and a new Bahamian flag was raised. The night of independence, I want you to know the country was a buzz. That mess was new at the time um, and was able, to, was able to broadcast the ceremony. My father took at least four truckloads of persons, at least four to five truckloads of people from through this corner, this corner and this community alone to Clifford Park. Both say they are proud to see the strides the country has made and they had this message for their younger selves and youngsters of the day. Take advantage of the opportunities that education has to offer. With the idea of being in charge of one's destiny did not face us at all. If the question is being asked, were you ready? The answer is yes, we were ready. Lloyd Allen, ZNS Network News. Well, this year's celebrations may be low key, but nothing's stopping a growing number of Bahamians from putting their patriotism on display this year, as Charles Fisher tells us in this next report. Yes, July is our Independence Month, but that should not be the only time we show our Bahamian pride. We don't just do it for July like some other people. We are here 365, 366 if you let us. You should show your Bahamian pride every day of the year. I try to wear at least one national color, if not two every day. Represent yourself every day. Why wait till you travel? Why wait to get upset with another person from foreign descent wearing their colors when you have the right to show your colors every day too. So by the name you may think that they only sell flags, but beyond flags are some unique items you just can't find anywhere else. We have the flag lapel pins, we have flutter balls. They look like the round balls, but they are definitely much more festive because they look like a floral ball. So that's different. We have the um, car hood covers. They really show your national pride in a big way. And of course, we have the car flags. We have the island shirts. Ours have the map, the flag, and the coat of arms on the one shirt, printed back and front. And of course, we have regular t-shirts. We have children's shirts. We have racer backs, and we have the uh, spaghetti strap. Flags, flags, and all kind of flags. From as small as a desk size flag, four inches by six inches, all the way up to a 15 by 18 flag. We have all the sizes in between. And they are the right colors. They are government code. They are specifically made. We ensure that before it's mass produced, it is the right colors. And when they say beyond, she means beyond. Some items that um, we try to encourage our local entrepreneurs, a flower pin that's actually produced by a young lady. We try to encourage and tell them, listen, come, you can bring your stuff. 
But if you're on consignment, not a problem because the more we can expose your products to the public, the better it is for all of us. We all benefit. For the ZNS Network News, I'm Charles Fisher.